Well, new at six, community members and local leaders in Durham are begging for the bleeding to stop. Yeah, more than a dozen children have been shot so far this year, but they say children really can provide the real solutions. CBS 17's Ben Boken tonight has uh, some answers about what can be done. Just last week, a 14-year-old boy shot in the McDougal Terrace neighborhood of Durham. He's one of at least 13 children shot throughout the city so far this year. Dominique Williamson, speaking to local leaders, says he's seen multiple friends killed. I had one shot in the head, shot in the back. It's not fun. A call to action to support boys and young men of color here in Durham. This during Wednesday's My Brother's Keeper Summit amid a concerning trend of violence impacting youth. One of the goals of the summit, gathering perspective from young people. A panel focusing on the loss of black youth to gun violence. It is a sad truth that this room of nearly 100 kids have all been impacted by gun violence and, and we have to do better. What we need our policy makers to do is wake the hell up. Like it is, it is right here in our face. The mayor announcing a campaign to raise a million dollars for gun violence prevention resources. The sheriff saying the community needs to do a better job of keeping guns out of the hands of young people, educating them about the dangers. Our young people deserve better and they deserve better from the adults who are out here doing this work and making these decisions. Youth saying the bullets come from everywhere at any time. The hope that the younger generation is part of the solution. You see somebody that you knew and you grew up with that passed away. So, you know, it's hard. In Durham, Ben Boken, CBS 17 News.